Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading for March of 2021. This is the last monthly Zodiac specific reading that you'll be getting on this channel, sadly. So hopefully it will be the best one ever. Um, what we are doing as a channel is we're transitioning into true love relationships, the soulmate union and the twin flame union. Um, and the reason why is because I believe that true love is the most important catalyst to helping someone grow and transform and step into their greatest soul purpose and their greatest happiness. And that is why we're transitioning to weekly collective true love updates. And if you want to stay uh, updated and get the clarity, inspiration, and next steps for your love life, for your highest good, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little like button. It helps this channel and video grow so we can guide more people. And if you wanna get notified every time I go live, which is every single Sunday, be sure to hit that bell button as well so you get that notification. So. Virgo, welcome to your last monthly reading. What we're going to do is open the ceremony here, call in the guides, share some channeled guidance without the tarot for your highest good and healing straight from source and spirit. And then we're going to get into a channeled love tarot reading. Now, this is for your current relationship, a situationship, or a deep, true love soul connection that you're dealing with that you're looking for clarity in and around uh, the energies that are happening right now. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and open the ceremony and get right into it. Officially opening the ceremony for the collective sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Venus, and Rising for March of 2021. Calling in my spirit guides and calling in my angels, specifically Archangel Michael, Jesus Christ, and Mary Magdalene, as well as Archangel Raphael, to help guide this ceremony. Calling in any spirit guides and angels responsible for the collective sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising sign and asking spirit that you allow me to channel for the highest good and healing of all involved listening now and in the future to this video. Thank you so much. The ceremony is now officially open. Let's go ahead and check in for channeled guidance for March of 2021 for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, we are so proud of you for your amazing accomplishments. We see that you are a completely different version and person than you were even just recently before. So much about you has changed into something quite amazing. We see you blooming and rising as the star that you are. We see you starting to begin to shine brightly and to believe in the power of your own light. We want you to know that this new power, this new light, this new ability to shine upon uh, others and to impact their lives in a positive way is very much meant for you and that you have a powerful ability to do so if you'll only allow it to be. We want you to know that it is the time now to embrace all the things that are coming to you that are in your heart that you wish to pursue, that you wish to do, and that you wish to open to and to embrace fully. We are so proud of all the progress and the healing and the transformations that you've been going through. We know it has not been an easy time for you, but we want you to know that everything that you've ever wanted is just around the corner. Thank you so much for being you, and we wish you the best of luck. Okay, let's get into the channeled message for Virgo from March of 2021. We're using the Wild Unknown Tarot deck for today. Why do I keep seeing angel numbers for your reading, Virgo? I saw 111 for the recording time and 333. Maybe the manifestation of a new beginning when it comes to... An ascended partnership. Three, three, three. Please, Spirit, allow me to channel for the highest good and healing for Virgo, specifically for March of 2021. What do my lovely, lovely Virgos need to know for their highest good at this time in love and in life? Here we go. Virgo, March 2021. Ace of Swords. The truth shall be revealed. The truth shall be told. And the truth shall be expressed. Right off the bat, immediately I feel that you would like to express your truth. You would like to express some truth, some action, and some clarity to someone or something in a given situation, potentially in love. 
someone here through the sword of justice who you've realized you have a deep connection with, a deep and profound feeling of destined connection with, and someone here that you realize no matter how far you go, how far they go, and whatever happens, you two will always find each other. The Ace of Swords comes with the truth and clarity of this exact realization that you might have had um, and the expression of that to another person who is of significance to you in your life. The reason why this is happening is because of the profound feelings of sadness that you've been feeling and going through and enduring for the recent past here. There's a situation here where something happened, some things happened that have left you feeling very much out of luck, possibly a little bit hopeless, maybe even depressed or heavy. Something that you felt never could be turned around or it was impossible for it to be turned around or that it was inevitably messed up in some sort of way. Like there was no way to correct it. And then the sun. The sun here representing okay, new life a new inspiration, a new joy, expression, and clarity. This could be the representation of yourself shining a light through the darkness or someone that you are magnetically attracted to, that you see as your sun, that you see as your inspiration, that you sense has um, the ability to bring light and joy and laughter into your life in a way that you may have been deprived of um, in the recent past. The Seven of Cups. This is the need for truth and clarity around other options. The need for truth and clarity and clarification around other options that may be involved in a romantic situation that you may feel someone else here is involved in or that you yourself have been involved in. But either way, you were getting to the truth, you were getting to the root, and you were getting clear about the involvement of any other options that may have been playing a role in your love life here for you or, or for you or another person. Strength card in the High Priestess. I feel that um, there's, a, there's a situation here where you are being asked to have a lot of courage, where you're being asked to, despite maybe the concern or the need for truth as to whether or not someone uh, is dealing with other options or has other options in their life, it's basically this thing that's asking you to have courage anyways, despite the concern that that might be happening to step up to the plate and to share, right, this truth, this clarity, ask these questions to confront someone potentially about this concern of yours and or to express your love. This might be with someone who you would consider a twin flame or a deep soul connection who deep, deep, deep down inside you feel very strongly bonded with. Since the strength card here and the ace of swords both have the infinity symbols. So this is the strength and courage to step up to the plate to ask or give clarity in a situation with someone here who you are very deeply romantically tied to. And the high priestess is here someone maybe who has given you silence or you've had silence with um, that basically has relied upon intuition All right, to come up with or to realize the depth of this connection or the action potential of what you want to do. So you're maybe stepping into a place of utilizing your intuition or you've been utilizing your intuition to find your own clarity when it comes to your love life um, in a way that's been silent, right? That it, that's in a way been more silent and non-expressive to determine your truth. So you've really gone inwards here in order to summon the strength to step up and to speak and claim what it is you want. Ten of Swords, I feel that you are coming to an end or exhausted from or just tired of feeling sad, feeling depressed and feeling left out in the cold or just feeling lonely generally. You know that this situation is something that you can change or you're coming into that realization that you can step out of this way of being and you are tired of it, you want it to end. If there is separation, if there is confusion, if there is a lack of clarity as to where someone or yourself stands romantically. You want that to end and you're ready to put it to an end very soon here. Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles with the Sun and the Eight of Cups. Wow. 
So what I feel here is you are either in your own love life choosing to walk away from other options here who aren't your true love or aren't as meaningful to you or who you're truly emotionally connected to as one specific person. This is, can be either your energy, right? Getting very clear and speaking that truth and representing that truth. Or you are asking for clarity or getting clarity from someone else as to whether or not they have uh, have or are walking away from other options here. Seven of Cups. Either way, there is a situation here where there is a need for truth. There is a need for clarity. There's a need for potentially the need to walk away from uh, any uh, romantic situation that's not fully in alignment with your greatest possible destiny or what you want in life. Um, potentially the lesson of learning to walk away from people or things or situations that aren't in your highest good. Either that and or gaining clarity from someone very important to you as to whether or not they are uh, dealing with uh, other romantic options at this time. Nine of Pentacles and the Son of Swords. You might be working also on your finances. You might be in a place where you are starting to really um, be confident when it comes to your own financial security and your abundance. And you might be kind of just hustling when it comes to your own financial stability and potential for wealth. And this might be something that's really brightening your day or you're inspired by someone else's uh, ability to really have this um, uh, accumulation of wealth that you are inspired by and want to create within your own life. Son of Swords and the Four of Swords here. So there is still a need for space and time and for some healing. I feel here you're going through a process where you might be needing to have space, needing to have clarity, maybe needing to get clarity in some sort of way around your romantic life or get it from someone else or with someone else. And you hear, here you want to, it's like your intuition's telling you to move forward, to give an offer to someone. What I'm really strongly picking up on is you're being held back by your concern as to whether or not someone's involved with other people. Like I feel like there's, there's someone here that's very important to you. And yet for some reason you fear that they are involved with other options. Um, and you, that holds you back or that causes you to go back and forth with your mind. You're like, Oh, but you know, they're probably off with someone else or they're doing this and I'm not going to get something like that. Right. And so you kind of hold yourself back here and you stay silent and you kind of go through this reflection period, this healing process, knowing that this is your, this is part of what's stimulating your healing process. Virgos, uh, is going through this period of wondering, trying to get clarity, uh, going back and forth in your own mind and then ultimately right, going through this meditative, reflective process with your own intuition as to what the next best step is until you finally, I feel, get the courage to find out and to reach out and to communicate and to get the clarity that you need to end this depressing or depressive cycle. Because I feel that this and this, this and this are tied in. Of course, this is tied in with everything, but... What I mean by that is you reaching out with the strength card or you having the courage to share, right, this love offer uh, or this act of uh, a gift of some sort, of an, an, an emblem or a token of your appreciation or love or just an offer, right? This is an offer um, is directly tied to ending, okay, this feelings, these feelings of sadness or burden within your own energy. And so it's it's you holding yourself back here, ironically, that is causing you to feel very sad and exhausted, frankly, emotionally, because I feel there's a big kind of pressure or weight that's been building up inside of you for a long time that um, unless you are willing to address or to right take a step and to get clear is you know going to continue to exhaust you. Ten of Pentacles, wow. So the Ten of Swords, interestingly, turns into the Ten of Pentacles, which by all means is one of the best cards in the deck, meaning once you get this clarity, once you take this step and, and, and gather the courage within you to either find out the truth about other options in someone's life or to walk away from other options that aren't really in your highest interest, could be both, honestly. I'm really sensing that could be both going on, like maybe you have other options that really aren't the best 
for you or you know aren't in your highest good where you're like this just isn't matching up to what i want and it's like well i'm going to have the strength to walk away from that and then to go to my true person and or you want clarity from this true person about whether or not they have other options could be both could be either or see which resonates but either way when you take that step um it's very in-depth reading when you take that step that's what enables you to end the exhaust the exhaustion you're feeling from the ten of swords to then claim your true destiny, which is the Ten of Pentacles, which you know intuitively can only be had with one person. Like, and when I say true wealth, destined success, an amazing life that's stable in partnership where you have everything you want possible that you build with someone else, you know that there's one person and one person alone on this entire planet that you can have that with. And there is no one else that compares to that one person. And that's the person you want to build the Ten of Pentacles with. And it's the moment that you step into the courage of finding this clarity, walking away from others who aren't really in that light or aren't really comparable to that potential future that you can end this cycle of the Ten of Swords and step into your greatness. Interesting reading. We have the Six of Wands and the Three of Swords. So... Ah. So three of swords shows up underneath the eight of uh, cups. I do believe you might be feeling again, right? The, going through some pain or turmoil or even heartbreak. Uh, heartbreak when it comes to someone maybe who had walked away or moved away from you emotionally. So your perception is someone who has maybe is, is dealing with other options. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. That's why this last card was really important to clarify this. But what I'm picking up here is someone might have walked away from you. You now perceive that they might have other options or they walked away from you because you had a, you were dealing with other options. Again, both situations could be possible. That eventually led to just feeling heartbroken about it once all of that happened. And now you kind of, it's hitting you. It's, it's helping you to realize, oh my gosh, like this is really just difficult, right? This is like, I, I don't know. I didn't know this was going to hurt so bad. I didn't know that this person or the situation was going to really impact me on the level that it has. It's the feeling that I'm getting here. Um, and so you're realizing this, right? Unfortunately, through this pain or this hurt that it's this whole situation has caused you, okay? Uh, this separation. Six of Wands here uh, as well. So you really do see yourself here because Ten of Pentacles and Six of Wands, you really do see yourself wanting success in life within yourself i feel you're gaining more confidence and clarity in what you're here to do and how you can uh, be financially abundant in your own situation and also that you can and want to participate in a union that focuses on combining both of your assets and skill sets and um and values together so you can create the ten of pentacles which is in a, a kingdom uh, an empire right a kingdom and a queendom together but right now, okay, and the other the other thing that's came, because this last row can be context or advice as well from spirit. Um, and so what this is saying is if you haven't realized what's causing the deep inner heartbreak or pain that you may be feeling right now, it's because of this lack of clarity. So if you are accumulating and feeling this and you're not sure why, it's because you need to find clarity in the situation and to make that step, to make that move here. And don't let your mind hold you back here, son of swords. Two of wands. Yeah. So this is, again, right, the need or desire, two of wands, for after having space or separation with someone, okay, in this deck in particular, which I was called to use with you, coming together. All right. Wanting to come together after having and experiencing space and time between and distance between you and another person, okay, emotionally, physically, or otherwise. Um, and you're unsure. You're unsure if this is going to happen. You're unsure how it's going to happen, right? That's that Son of Swords energy, and your mind may be doubting it, and your mind, mind may be doubting what to do in around that situation, okay? Or whether or not you're ready to do this or to take this. I feel like this is like, you know this journey's coming, or you know it's here. You're just kind of a little bit wavering, I would say, uh, on whether or when to take it. Yeah, hanged man. So that's there's the feeling, right? Hanged man is not quite taken action yet, right? It's kind of sitting in the stillness, sitting in the silence of it all, going through your times of healing, reflection, meditation, trying to decide what's best for you, what you want. If this is really 
what you want to step up into, right? Is this what's going on in the situation? What's going on with this person? Hangman is sitting in the stillness and really trying to figure it all out through uh, a type of spiritual work. So the other thing you might be delving into is spirituality or spiritual learning or of some sort, maybe even going through a course of some short, uh, some, some short, some sort, trying to up level your ability to kind of understand your intuition and how to meditate. Cause this is really four of swords is about, and hangman, it's about meditation. It's about stillness. It's about reflection, high priestess intuition. So you're likely going through some inner work or transformation to help you learn how to meditate and still your mind. And this work, by the way, if you are doing that is going to greatly help your clarity when it comes to healing your heartbreak and also um, when and how you should step into this truth and clarity and communication. Because the only thing that this is going to do is heal the mind, heal the, the mind's chaos, right? Because your mind, Virgos, right, ruled by Mercury, might have a tendency to kind of be really chaotic or sporadic and go, go like this and go back and forth. And one day you feel this way, the other day you feel that way. Uh, you never really, it's like the wind, right? It's always constantly changing. Um, but one thing that's not changing as you are realizing is the feeling that you have, right? Your mind may change, but your heart is very much the same where it was or is probably around one person. Final outcome cards, the moon, the six of swords and the judgment card. Interesting. So I do feel you are wanting to get out again, this, this, this feeling of wanting to get out of the mystery of this situation. Like I feel you feel you're in a little bit of the darkness of it all, or you, you have some fears or some, there's some unknowns about it and you want clarity. You're like, I don't know what's going on in the situation in the moon. I'm kind of left out in the dark. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this person's dealing with other options. I don't know what I want. And you want to get out of that six of swords. You want to move past this lack of clarity past and out of the darkness into more of the light into the sun. Speak, speak of, a divine union. We have the moon here as the overall outcome and the sun here. So yes, whoever this person is, is a deep, 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 true love, soul connection, sun and the moon kind of relationship. You can call it a twin flame, call it whatever you'd like. And judgment card. So this is the, this is you at the end of this reading, making a decision from a source of clarity or place of clarity or even higher judgment, right? To move past, move out of Six of Swords, move out of the darkness into the light, which is beautiful. And potentially through that, wanting to give this clarity or find clarity, okay? But either way, you're making a move. You're taking action uh, towards the end here, I feel, through and after this work of finding out um, what you need to find out. <laughs> really, uh, I feel you're a bit of an investigator in this situation, but you do have and are getting a, a higher sense of perspective in the situation through this work, which is beautiful. And that's what helps you to take action to move forward. Justice card on the bottom of the deck, right? So this is a karmic uh, experience of growth that you've been going through likely with another person. Again, this could be your twin flame, meaning you two had to work out a lot of work and karma that you've accumulated in this lifetime to get all of the kinks out. So that way you could experience something as pure as the Ten of Pentacles together. You also have the Mother of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Son of Pentacles and the Temperance and the Five of Wands. So, you know, again, this is that feeling in the dark a little bit kind of card. This is definitely your energy here, Son of Pentacles, um, Two of Swords and the Mother of Cups. It's really like you might, again, find yourself at that crossroads or have your realize that you need to make this choice, realize that you need to take this action in order to get clear and to know what to do next. So that's kind of the place you're in. Temperance card does suggest that again, there might be some time needed for this and you might um, need to be patient in the situation or with yourself or to realize that there's still maybe some healing to go through before you can really have this, this clarity or this confidence or this, um, ability to step forward into the light and to uh, create what you want, which is the Ten of Pentacles here. Let me clarify the Ace of Swords. So Spirit, can we get some clarity on the Ace of Swords for Virgos for March 2021? What do we got here? The Daughter of Cups, the Hermit card, 
and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is definitely your energy. The Hermit card is your card. Daughter of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Daughter of Cups is that really, again, like that playful, flirtatious, and kind of non-committed energy in love, right? It's kind of the, a little bit of that player energy, I would say. The Hermit card of the Ace of Pentacles. So what I feel you're wanting to do is, again, you're, it could be with your energy or another person's energy or both, but you're wanting to clarify maybe how you've observed someone acting in the past or that what they've been doing now, right? Maybe they've been exuding this kind of playful, flirtatious energy with different options that you've observed, you've come into the awareness of, um, and you want to really find out if there can be the potential for something stable here. Um, if there's the potential to create something stable out of this energy, I do feel you want to, you want to move away from this energy, uh, generally, right? Either with someone else, or this could even be your energy. And that's also what I'm picking up on, uh, equally as much is maybe you're realizing that, oh, um, maybe this was my energy as well, maybe in the past or sometime in this situation. And through inner reflection, the hermit and time and space, I've realized that I don't really want that anymore. I don't really want to just kind of flit around and, um, you know, not really be serious when it comes to love. I maybe want something a little more serious, stable and grounded and committed. And that's why you're stepping into more of the Ace of Pentacles energy, which is something, you know, that starts nice and slow, gradual, but is stable and is committed and is real, right? It's tangible. And so I really feel you're moving into this energy of, hey, like maybe it's just, it's, it's I'm kind of done with this casual energy of not really being serious when it comes to relationships or commitments. And I'm really kind of first wanting to kind of spend time on my own to go through this healing process. But really then I want to come out of that and have something stable, maybe to bring to the table with someone else or that you want in your own life. But either way, that's the energy you're moving towards. And eventually, right, you have the Ace of Pentacles turns into the Ten of Pentacles. Which again, and you got to go through this again. You got to go through this kind of process here. I could see Virgos. You got a lot of stuff to go through first before you can get to this, um, right? The sadness, the, the 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 being done with the exhaustive energy here, the clarity that you're getting, right? Stepping up and and making this this move, okay, to get clarity or to speak or to share something. But overall, it's going to lead you to be able to participate with someone else in something that's absolutely amazing, right? Ten of Swords turning into the Ten of Pentacles is a new life and a new potential for greatness with uh, yourself and a, a person in a committed situation, um, which is Ten of Pentacles, right? It's Ten of Pentacles is only created through partnership. That's the Nine of Pentacles you can create here on your own, which I do feel you're doing. You're doing really well. And the Six of Wands here represents success and victory when it comes to your independence and your ability to create income and your this gives you your own happiness. This is what gives you that. And you might again be inspired by someone else. So this might come from you, but either way, that's really good. And you can see here, these two are right next to each other because your wins and your success and happiness leads to uh, you and another person's wins together. So either way, um, let me just draw three final outcome cards, four of wands, by the way, bottom of the deck on that clarity pool. So this is a, a stable, loving, and um, very enjoyable relationship or home that you're able to build with someone um, that you love very much. Okay, All being created through the potential, that potential manifesting because of the work you're doing here. So let me go ahead and pull three final outcome cards from my lovely Virgos. Spirit, can we get three final outcome cards? Oh, this has gone almost 30 minutes. Virgos. Gave you extra time again. I think I feel like I always give you guys extra time. Um, <laughs> what is it about you, Virgos, huh? <laughs> All right, three final outcome cards. We have the Empress. We have the Ten of Wands and the Four. Of, there's the Four of Wands again. So uh, overall, and the Nine of Wands there. Beautiful. Overall, here you are realizing. Okay, you're going through quite a transformation here. Ten of Wands here is my transformation card in this deck. It's also, again, carrying this heavy weight or burden of love or something in your heart, but really going through a transition. 
And I feel you're blossoming. You're really blossoming. You're opening into this beautiful empress energy, right? This divine feminine energy that allows you to be clear on what you want to create. Four of Wands, again, is this portal towards everlasting earth, earthly happiness, right? A, a tangible home and relationship and love and celebration and also wealth and abundance here in Ten of Pentacles. And just to be clear, again, I feel your clarity is coming through, you know, your experiences of life where you go, well, you know, uh, if I want this, if I really want this happiness, it's really, I feel capable of being manifested with one person and one person only. And that is why the eight of cups comes after the seven of cups here. Um, and you're realizing this, uh, you know, three of swords is here as well, realizing this may be a little later than you wanted to, but really in reality, it's perfect. Um, that there's one person here that you are deeply connected with that, uh, you will and can and desperately definitely want, I would say, uh, to create this amazing life with, um, beside them. So, um, that's what I got for you, Virgos. Um, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found it clarifying. And, uh, if you want to go deeper, then I will have an extended reading in the description box below. And we're going to go ahead and look at your person's energy, where they're at in life, how they're feeling about you and just giving clarity about what's going on in their life. So you have some context. Okay. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, we're transitioning into true love, soulmate, twin flame, collective energy. So you can get weekly updates on your true love situation and the guidance you need and are looking for in love and in life for your highest good and healing. And be sure to do me a favor, hit that like button. If you enjoyed this content, helps this video and channel grow so we can guide more people. And uh, of course, Virgos, if you want to work with me or grab a session uh, personally, you can go to my website, brandontobias.com um, and look at the sessions. And lastly, follow me on Instagram if you want to stay updated. I do uh, actual readings on there that are specific to Instagram. And they also talk about healing and cool stuff like that. Okay. So thanks again so much for the support, Virgos. I'll see you in the extended or in next week's video. Bye for now.